specifically highlighted the rapid growth of trade between the two countries, which increased by 81% last year and by another 31% in the first several months of this year. He further stressed the deep strategic relations between Moscow and Tehran, with emphasis on political and security cooperation vis-à-vis -vis Syria and elsewhere. The Iranian head of state, for his part, proclaimed, quote, Nothing has stopped or will stop the progress of our trade and economic ties. We are committed to developing our bilateral contacts. This is a very clear message to our officials that the decision we made in Moscow will be translated into reality. President Raisi further stressed the joint experience of cooperation in Syria and also underscored that Moscow and Tehran can take steps that will be useful for the two countries, nations and the region as a whole. It is important to know that tensions between Moscow and Jerusalem mounted in recent weeks after unidentified aircraft conducting an aerial strike in Syria on June 17th destroyed runways in Damascus International Airport from which Iranian cargo aircraft repeatedly smuggled weaponry into the war-torn country. Consequently, the Russian Foreign Ministry summoned Israel's ambassador to Moscow, during which it voiced grave concern over the alleged Israeli strike of Syrian infrastructure. Moreover, the Russian Foreign Ministry voiced concern over a statement that was made on Wednesday, June 15th, in which Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz announced Israel's intention to provide Ukraine with protective equipment, including helmets and flak jackets. Subsequently, on June 22nd, Russia's ambassador to Israel, Anatoly Viktorov, warned in an interview to Russian state television that Moscow is carefully checking this information and that it intends to respond accordingly if it is confirmed. Meanwhile, in Washington, the U.S. Coordinator for Strategic Communications at the National Security Council, John Kirby, was asked earlier this week about the Russian threat directed at Israel. Russia condemning Israel. Russia has been threatening Israel for helping Ukraine and also uh, for, for Israel bombing uh, the Damascus Syria airport. Any response to Israel that's being threatened by Russia? Uh, I think our response will be the, 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 the same as it has been now for the last s several months. I mean, uh, obviously, Russia is feeling uh, the pressure, the pressure of being isolated, the pressure of having a military on the ground uh, that clearly has not performed as advertised. I mean, they still haven't solved their command and control problems, their logistical problems, their unit cohesion problems, their joint fires integration problems. And so they tend to lash out at countries that are providing support to Ukraine. We're grateful for the support that Israel has been, has been providing, as well as so many other nations, more than 50 have signed up to provide some measure of security assistance to Ukraine. And that shows you that this is not just a Europe problem. It's nations around the world that are stepping up to here to, to defend Ukraine.